Doing pickings? Yeah. Uh, new turf, obviously. Uh, not too many additions, you know. Uh, I heard we were widening the sidelines a little bit, maybe adding more, adding more fan space, stuff like that. Uh, but really, the only thing I've really seen, like, that's really just different to me, you know, is new turf. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's pretty shiny, I guess. Uh, is the locker room getting an overhaul? Oh, yeah. Locker room is getting uh, redesigned. Uh, it's not finished, so we don't know what it looks like. So um, obviously that's going to be exciting. Uh, it's supposed to be done before fall camp, so I'm excited about that. Spencer, what's it like being back in this building where you guys keep so close to the Big 12 title, but then you guys did recover the ball? Kind of the end of last season and how it carries into this year. Uh, you know, you kind of carry with a chip on your shoulder for motivation, but you know, you kind of you can't hold yourself. You know, you, you have no regrets. Can't hold yourself to that. You know, you just gotta let it go and move on. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it now. Uh, I'm glad that we could respond in the right way. Uh, we responded the right way with the Notre Dame. You know, I'm glad that we could uh, finish with the bang for the older guys. You know, so they can come out and you know, end with a smile. Was there any flashback though when you came in here today? Uh, not really. I mean, I've been in this stadium multiple times in high school, so I've had some some losses and some wins in here. Spencer, Mike said you're kind of a magician in the offense now. What's your comfort level now as you go year four for the starter of the offense? Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, my comfort level really is just about getting the guys around me comfortable. You know, I want to make sure the young guys that are stepping up into the guys that, you know, they got to fill the shoes of uh, the older guys like Tate Martin. Uh, I just want to make those guys just as comfortable as possible because the best they play is the best that we can produce. But also, too, is just, you know, it's the better they can play as just themselves. You know, the more comfortable they are, that's the best that they're going to play just for themselves. You know, and I, I want all our guys to make a name for themselves. You know, I don't want them to be the next Tylen Wallace or the next Tate Martin. I want them to be, you know, the next, you know, Jay Bray or the next, you know, Braden Johnson or Brendan Presley. You know, I want them to be the best them, I'm not somebody else's shoes. So, you know, the most, the, the more comfortable I can get them to feel, you know, it's just the better that they can play, and I'm just, really, I'm just excited. Spencer, a year ago, I remember Mike Gunn, you said, uh, right before this you know, event, you'd improved more in the last two months than you had in the previous two years. A year now, do you still feel like you're improving at that rate? Uh, yeah, you know, I try to focus on just getting better every day. Uh, it's like I've been saying all day today, uh, this offseason I've been focused a lot just on leadership mentally, you know, it's just bringing those younger guys up because, you know, their confidence isn't too high right now, you know, they're making a couple mistakes here and there, and there's no point to get down on themselves, you know, they're young, so my my objective right now is just kind of kind of just keeping a smile on their faces, you know, keeping them in the best mood so they can just play at the best of their abilities and, you know, play with a smile on their face and just have fun, you know, they're here for a reason, they love to play this game, so, you know.